Hi. So in the previous two tutorials, we see how we can look into the OSGI container by using gogo shell commands. In this tutorial, we will see how we can resolve dependency in our Gradle task. So this is the most most important topic till now. So please be careful. So each project must need some other dependencies like if you want to use hibernate or spring then we will need to provide some jars but in case of gradle it is very simple to do this kind of task so let me just create a class and this class implements so we are using this bundle activator but jar file of this is not available So bundle activator is in OSGI. So I need to provide the dependency related to OSGI. So let me search for the dependency. and this is the repository so click on this gradle and copy this open the project open build.gradle And provide this let me just delete this now just build the project and when you build this it automatically downloaded your jars in In this location so this is our OSGI and look this is our jar so it will give me an error so this is because this so now look now this import is available as the jar is already downloaded so i need to just implement these methods so start method is called when the bundle is started and stop is when bundle is stopped so let me just try to deploy this
and look all the dependencies are successfully resolved so one more thing i need to provide the entry of this bundle activator in our bnd file go to content and provide your complete path of your activator so it's in deploy and look the started message and when you stop this it print the stop message that's it so the main motto of this tutorial is to see how to we can resolve dependencies this so you can provide the entries for hibernate or spring anything and it automatically resolve the dependency so if you really like the tutorial hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe